What gets really interesting, and this is something most scientists don't even know about yet, is level three, the deep layer of aging. There's actually a DNA clock that tells our bodies how old we are. We, I could take your blood and read it, and I could tell you roughly when you're gonna die. Well, there are different levels to resetting aging. Uh, there are three levels that we know of. The first is pretty easy to reset uh, or to, to manipulate. These are the proteins that turn um, genes on and off very quickly. We call them transcription factors. Mm -hmm. And they, they basically read a gene and make a protein. That's what they do. Uh, that's level one. That's easy. Go a little bit hungry, that'll change. Level two is a little bit harder. The level two is not just changing which genes are quickly turned on and off, but actually silencing genes for, for a long time. And this is where my enzymes that we work on, the sirtuins, come into play. Let's go back to the Pac-Man. They clip off acetals off these packing proteins. You spool up the hose and it becomes, becomes locked in. That, that gene gets silenced for a long time. So to do that, you can exercise, you can diet, but you also, I think you need a little bit of help as well. What gets really interesting, and this is something most scientists don't even know about yet, is level three, the deep layer of aging. There's actually a DNA clock that tells our bodies how old we are. We, I could take your blood and read it, and I could tell you roughly when you're gonna die. What? Yeah, we can do that. What Just, are you looking for? We're looking for chemical groups that get added and subtracted to our DNA, the, the long string uh -huh. in the cell. You get chemical modifications in predictable ways as you get older, starting from conception. So even in the womb, even as a kid, even as a teenager, you're aging based on this clock that goes up linearly. And where you fit on that line, it's very accurate that tells you your biological age. But how do you know when the person's gonna die? Is that just based you on just actual actuarial tables? straight lines. Is it actuarial tables though? The human, average uh, human lifespan is 86. And is that what you mean? Or is there, could you see something specific in my line that would say, ooh, you're headed for 68, sorry. Uh, no, it's not, not specific, but what it's based on is machine learning based on thousands of people's um, code of methylation yep. on the genome and comparing that to their health and their date of death. Oh, fuck, that's so interesting. So if you were to take my blood right now, what would you look for exactly? We would read the methylation. The chem these are chemicals, hydrogen yep. and oxygen, bound to the DNA, chemically, physically bound. Um, and those accumulate as you get older in very predictable ways. In fact, they're so predictable that we can use the same clock to measure the do a dog's age and a human's age. Whoa, all based on methylation. Right. Okay, what causes methylation? Well, there are two classes of enzymes, the ones that add the methyl chemicals and mm -hmm. those that subtract it. Okay, how do I take a boatload of ones that subtract it? Ah, that's what we're working on. Now, here's the key, level two aging reset which we can do by some of the things that I'm doing in my life, yep. probably you are too, those aren't permanent changes. You can't just do that and expect that, take, take one treatment and you go on living for another 10 years. Okay. Because level two isn't as permanent. It's somewhat permanent than level one, but level three is truly permanent. It, you could reset yourself 10 years and then go back and then wait another 10 years and potentially reset mm. the clock again if you know how to do that and we're just starting to figure out how to do that. Okay.